The long muscular alimentary canal is one of the finest systems in our body. However, the process of digestion cannot really get completed without chemical digestion of the food. Just like mechanical, even chemical breakdown of food is extremely important. And which part helps in this process? Well, there are organs called glands scattered throughout the digestive system. These help in secreting the necessary enzymes for the process of digestion. Just like every part of the alimentary canal has a specific role in the process of digestion, similarly, each gland secretes digestive juices which help in completing the process. Let's learn about these important glands in detail in this video. The ones near the beginning of the alimentary canal are the salivary glands. Next on the list are the gastric glands placed on the stomach. Then we have two, both of which are placed near the stomach and the small intestine. Yes, we are referring to the liver and the pancreas. These four major glands help in secreting the digestive juices that are specific for the breakdown of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Let's begin with the salivary glands first. We've always heard about the fact that digestion begins in the mouth. Any idea how? Well, it's due to the secretions from the salivary glands. These include the collection of three pairs of salivary glands. The parotid glands, the submandibular glands and the sublingual glands. The parotid glands are situated here. These can be located roughly around the upper cheeks on either side. The next pair is of the submandibular glands. Isn't the name self-explanatory? Mandibles are the jaws, especially lower jaws in mammals. So these pairs are located on either side of the lower jaw. On similar basis, can you help me locate the sublingual gland pair? Give it a shot. That's a right guess. The term lingual helps in associating with the tongue. So this pair of glands is located in the region below the tongue. Each of these help in secreting the saliva. Collectively, the saliva secreted by these glands contain the enzyme called the salivary amylase. And what's this useful in? Well, salivary amylase helps in breaking down carbohydrates partially. So mixing the food with salivary amylase helps in the partial breakdown of carbohydrates in the food. Now after carbohydrates, we have proteins on our list. How are they broken down? Well, just like carbs, proteins are also broken down partially first. That is taken care of by the gastric glands present in the stomach. The specialized cells in the gastric mucosa of the stomach secrete a juice known as the gastric juice. This contains mainly the enzyme pepsin apart from the other components. The enzyme pepsin helps in breaking down proteins partially. Now comes the turn for the fats. But fats cannot be broken down. They are emulsified. That is, the larger fat droplets are converted into smaller ones. And this is aided by the next gland on our list. This is the largest gland in our human body. Any guesses which organ are we talking about? That's right, it's the liver. The liver secretes an extremely important secretion called the bile. However, it's supplied by the gallbladder. Now what could this be? Well, can you notice this small structure here? This is nothing but the gallbladder. It's like a personal assistant of the liver. The gallbladder takes up the responsibility of releasing the required amount of bile as and when required. Emulsification of fats marks the completion of partial breakdown of the consumed nutrients. Now it's time to break the nutrients completely. So who comes for the rescue? It's the pancreas now. This is one of the most important glands in our body as it helps in secreting digestive juices as well as hormones. Pancreas is a heterocrine gland which secretes the pancreatic juice and even the hormones that help in regulating sugar levels in the blood. But for now, we will focus on the pancreatic juice as we are amidst the digestion process. The pancreatic juice is a mixture of three major enzymes. These enzymes include pancreatic amylase, trypsin and lipase. 
The pancreatic amylase is the one that helps in digesting carbohydrates. Trypsin breaks down proteins and lipase helps to break down the fats completely. Getting back to our process, the chyme, which is the pulpy fluid passed down from the gastric glands and mixed with the bile, now gets mixed with the pancreatic juice, which helps the food digest completely. As the food reaches here, the common duct carrying the bile and the pancreatic juice pours in the secretions which help process the partly digested food further. Once broken down, the nutrients are all set to be absorbed by the small intestinal cells as the chyme enters the duodenum and moves ahead. This is how the various enzymes present in the various secretions bring about the complete breakdown of nutrients present in our food. The salivary glands, gastric glands, liver and the pancreas contribute in their own way to complete the process of digestion.